Hello. All right. Actually, let's get this out of the way and fire this up. All right, everybody. This is going to be a quick little video on how to do vignetting. Now, there, I've seen a number of people doing vignette videos, but it, they all seem to be the same, where you take a copy of the video that you're working with and you run it through a a lens distortion, an extreme lens distortion, and a couple other effects to f flatten it into black and white. Now this uses up a lot of extra processing power that could be better used for other things, like rendering your, your composite. So I'm going to show you how to do this with textures. So if we go over here to textures and pick world texture and pick a blend, make it spherical, let's call it vignette. Then we go to the compositing page. Don't need that. Now we'll add a movie. Doesn't matter what, of course. And we're going to also add the texture. Now at this point, we could just do a, a straight vignette out here. There we go. We have a vignette, and you can adjust the adjust this value here. So that's a fairly quick way to do it. It requires very little processing time. But uh, what I also wanted to show was a slightly more advanced way of tweaking this. If we add a color ramp, we can now actually control goes in the other place. Sorry, my bad. The color ramp goes here. There we go. So by putting the color ramp here, we can now tweak and control the edges of that vignette. You can make it a harder edge, softer edge, larger affected area, smaller affected area. Now one thing that's fairly fairly obvious here is that if we um, if you look you can see that the vignette goes all the way to the the bottom of, and the sides here. If you want it to actually push past the edges and just shadow the corners we can do it with the by adding a scale And then if we scale this up, say to 1.5, and then 1.5, and actually if we make this back to, um, you can actually see the amount of area. So here we're, we're only doing the corners. So by using these nodes, you can control the size of the transition. By using this, you can control the strength of the vignette. And there we go, quick little vignetting. And uh, to show you what it looks like in a slightly cooler way, perhaps.
All right, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you find it useful.